everybody, it's Wigaholic and I am back. Today I'm going to show you how I took my wig room from this to this. I'm going to share this idea that was given to me by my best friend, Lori. So kudos to her for sharing it with us. Now these items came strictly from Amazon, but if you stay till the end, I'm going to tell you how you can save even more money. So the first thing I did was recruit my husband and we had to decide where I wanted to hang these hooks. I wanted to keep the one above the light for shorter wigs. So I kept it a little higher. And then the one that's lower on the left hand side where my husband is was going to be for shorter wigs as well. So they weren't hitting my desk. So after we decided where they were going to go, I had to run out and get a tape measure. Yeah, my husband's a perfectionist and he wanted to make sure that both racks were the same distance from the ceiling on each side. We poked a little hole in each of them so that he would know the area where they were supposed to be mounted and where he had to screw his holes and all that. Well, I guess he had to drill his holes first, right? Yeah, that's it. So what he's doing now is he's got his stud finder and he is checking the walls to see where the studs are. This will help him determine how big and how deep he has to go with the holes in the wall. Now these did come with the wall jacks. That's not what they're called, are they? Wall anchors, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so it did come with wall anchors so he's found where the studs are now he's going to grab our level and he's going to make sure that oh he had to check again he he has to always check twice so now he's grabbed the level and he's going to make sure that they're all level and i'm going to swoop in and save the day by marking each of the holes with a marker so that he knows exactly where to drill. Now that that's done, it's time for him to get his handy dandy drill. So each of the hangers has two little holes where the screws go in. So he is doing one, two for each. Look at him go, man, he's fast. Now that he's got all the holes drilled, he's going to take the anchors and he's going to hammer one into each of the holes. This is going to ensure that these aren't just gonna like fall off the wall on top of me or something. Once he's got all of the anchors in the walls, it's time to go ahead and screw each of these hanging hooks into the wall. You know, it's really awesome when you have cheap labor like this. I didn't even have to pay him. Oh, and no, I can't rent him out. I already asked, he said no. So lickety split, 
he has these puppies up, they're level, and then I get to have my fun. So now he's picking up all his tools and getting out of my way. So now I'm going to have some fun. I'm showing you here, these are little three and a half inch moving coasters and they have like a carpet sleeve that goes over the top. That's what we're going to be using and that's what will hold your wig in place once we get all of these hooks ready to go. So basically I'm just putting a little pressure on the top of where the hook is and I'm pulling that hook down so they're flat. And I'm gonna do this to every single one. Make sure that you're not putting too much pressure on them that you snap them in half. While they are metal, they still are not, you know, super strong. Now, when I go to put these coasters on, I thought I was going to do it the smart way and put the plastic disc on first and then add the carpet over the top of it. And you'll see that here. Obviously, my genius brain wasn't working when I first started this because it was real difficult to try to hold that in place and then slide the carpet cover over the top. But once I did a couple of these and saw how difficult it was, you'll see that I figured out it was a lot easier to simply put the cover over the disc and then add that right to the top. See, as I did there. It goes much quicker when you do it this way. And here at the end, you'll be getting a little bonus. So a total purchase price for these items off of Amazon was about $64. But after I get done hanging all these, you're gonna see a little coupon code and the website page where you can get these directly from the company. And then you will save $10. See it right there. So this is my finished product. I thank Lori for sharing this with me and for letting me share this with all of you. Hey, remember, subscribe, like this, and share with your other wig sisters. Hey, and let us know what you think. Until next time, it's Wigaholic saying I love you and bye-bye.